Okay, we are back once again, and today we have a tool from Mosols. I knew exactly what I needed. Got here very fast. That's it, but it's not actually that heavy. Banged my elbow playing with the dog today. But this one's from CWS. It's a 160 amp inverter technology stick welder MMA get rid of the packaging we do have our holder our electrode holder with Denzo connection show you that lovely jubbly and we do get an earth clamp which isn't too poor it's probably on par with the more expensive Clark machines, but still it's got a good strong grip and the lead, the lead is good. So yeah, changing one of these out to any one of my choice isn't hard, it's just a bolt, so yeah, I don't knock them for that, they could have sent a more thinner, flimsy thing since it's changeable, but decent setup. An electrode holder, seems to be copper or copper plated inside, but... Very cool. This was a hundred and fourteen pound. <laughs> wow! I think they've even added electrodes. Yeah, they have. Quite a few. About twenty electrodes there. And they are E6013. That's the ones I've already ordered. I've just ordered a whole batch of these, so perfect for practicing. Where are we? Down here, as you can see. There we go. RD460 E6030. I'll be hopefully practicing on aluminium as well at some point. Oh, oh wow, the machine is like a handbag. The blow molded case is not bad, but it's not all that great. Get a manual. Now, let me get this thing undressed and let's see how she looks. Right, so here it is. Lovely bulletproof blue. Make sure my kids don't break it. Not that it should be near it. But it has super thick durable lead just like all the other parts, the clamp, the earth clamp and the electrode holder. It has, well, I'll show you the back, it has the power around the back. Because like most electronics like this, coming to Europe they normally have the power's got to be away from the control console. Crazy, because now I've got to go searching down the back for it. Um, it does have your infinite power dial. A digital display to tell you and your Denzo connections up here. I've seen other generic ones online where the Denzo connectors are down here over at the bottom. So I saw a rather be welding doing a review on a 160 amp inverter. It looks totally different to this so it might not even be the same but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Right so we'll turn it on Get ready for the jet. Wow. Mega quiet. So his lowest setting is 14 amps. Oh, its highest setting is 159 amps. Very, very quiet. It's blinking at the power light at the back and now it's cut off so it takes a minute to settle back down but the fan as well mega good fan turbo blowing out the side of there but excellent bit of kit so we'll bring in for a little bit of a look this is it the infinite dials your overheat light Showing you your powers on. 
So yeah, I wonder if this can do other things with other leads, but yeah. A lovely little set. So it's from the company CWS, which on this states as the Cheltenham Welding Supplies MMA 160 amp stick welder. It does have a really, really good style, like the Euro connectors, but it's a Dinzo plug. It's got a really half decent, super strong clamp on there. Happy with that. Uh, what looks like a bog standard thing, but I've held a few and they're quite lightweight and flimsy. This is quite weighty and seems to be made of quality parts. Lovely job light. And even throw in about 20 E630, yeah, E6013 rods. Which I don't imagine they would be amazing, but I'll use them. Well, thank you very much, CWS, for throwing them in the box. Because my other ones aren't here. Now it's raining outside, so we'll not be testing it today. But yeah, we'll definitely get a video up showing how it welds. And we'll update to see if it lasts long or if it strikes a problem or somehow stops working I'll update you and let you know so it was only £114 it's pretty much bottom of the line welder of that size being a 160 amp and it's inverter technology so hopefully it's a bit better than the old style but from past experiences old tools prevail over new tools so these definitely a heavy upgrade from anything I've seen on any budget welders, so happy with that. Lovely machine, and we'll see how it goes. This has been the CWS 160 Amp MMA Stick Welder. Well, thanks a lot guys, and check back, we'll have another video up soon of it actually running. I'm hoping it'll produce some nicer beads than the existing... 100 mig from a company called Wolf. This is not bad. It does everything I need it to do, but it's just messy and you got to clean up a lot more and then it exposes bad parts. You got to fill in again and go over the whole cleaning process. So I'm hoping this will make some lovely beads. Yeah, and I know it's partly the welder's fault, being in me, but trust me, this thing is a giant raspberry machine. It'll stick anything together, but it just <laughs> all over the place. Not good for much. So, we we'll try these IGBT machines, and I'll get back to you, let you know how it is. Bye.